So, ladies and gentlemen, season two is here, but it's also a Tuesday, so you could almost guarantee what the first video is going to be. And that's going to be the story set. So let's go ahead and press start. And just a quick mention, if you're not part of the Discord, discord.gg forward slash death squad. There is a free best community on Skull and Bones on the flipping internet. And also, if you want to come and see me live, twitch.tv forward slash idefrishid is a free tonight. Get your Twitch drop. See you there. And go down to the store and see what is in the new store for the new season two. We can see at the top, we've got smugglers pass tokens. Next to it, we've got dragon tokens we got silver and then we obviously we got gold if i come down now we are in the store we can see the offers we got event 20 days left we got the collection we got featured and we got limited time so the store has now got a better ui actually i think this is a lot better meaning they could put more in for us to be able to get so let's start off with the event which is 20 days left so this is probably going to be the most important for you guys to get and we can see on the screen there is a boat with a dragon on it that looks pretty goddamn awesome so let's click on it it's 2000 gold it's got the fiery fortunes sail color it's got the rain over rivers emblem it's got the beaten wave sail pattern it's got the heavenly protector figurehead that is cool the dragon with the fireworks coming out of it that's that i actually like that I and mean, if we press x we could explore okay so in oh wow we can actually see what it looks like out of combat and then in combat so that that's a better way of us understanding we've got the whole colors um we have got the upholding time honored traditions the ornaments which is where we can see the arms with the sails i wonder if the paddles actually move on the side of the ship i might have to get it just to check that out let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do that we've then got the wave breaker um sign the ship nameplate and then we've got the wheel the longevity overall pretty cool ship and an okay price, I suppose. We've got the Dwan Yang Rogue set, which is obviously the clothing set that goes with the ship. It's got the dragon helmet. It's got the dragon like garbs, dragon uh, gauntlets, dragon class belt. It's got the Dwan Yang pants. Uh, and then it's got the tide bound sandals. Moving on, we've got the poet's friends. So we can basically get the same outfit for our little Lima. So it is a Lima. This is not a different pet. This is the same pet that we had before. But we can see that it's wearing the dragon costume, which looks pretty cool, especially if you get in the set. And then you've got the Duan Yang's firework, which in the sky is the dragon boat sailing. That looks really cool. Somehow I've earned a smuggler's pass by looking at the store. Let me know in the comments down below if you managed to get that. Oh, wow. Isn't that so cool? So not only here, you can actually toggle day and night to see what it looks like at night. So that that is an amazing feature. You can see it glowing at night. Is there anything on the side? No, there's not. Oh, you can see the lanterns and everything because it's nighttime. And the wheel. That is a beautiful feature. Well done on adding that. Let's go to the Duan Yang ship here. Um, wait, wasn't that, isn't that the same thing that's at the start? Oh, oh my God. So you can get it with gold. But you can also get it with in-game credits, them dragon tokens that you can get from doing events. Isn't that amazing? That means you don't have to actually spend real money anymore. You can actually obtain these exact items, apart from the Lima, but with doing in-game stuff. So we click here and we click purchase item. You need more event tokens to purchase this item. Event tokens can be obtained from time-limited events. That is so flipping cool. How we can purchase that without having to actually spend a real money let's go down now we're in the collections so the collections the first one we've got is an emissive set uniform it's uh a really funky one at that now i'm not too sure if it does anything different at night no it doesn't um see scorpions coat hey you company snake want a hug i want to see what that looks like from the back so we're going to look at that in the shop in a moment we've obviously got the mask uh we got the little nemo necklace uh, i was hoping it's going to be a little uh Fish, clownfish, that would have been hilarious. We've got the Rusty Hooks belt. We have got the Glistening Scales pants. Uh, we have got the Dorsal boots for the shoes. Uh, oh, it comes with even more. It comes with ship cosmetics. So we put that tonight. We can see that the emblem glows pink. That's really cool. And the sails look like scales. Moving over, we've got the emblem, which is the one we can see there glowing pink. We've got the Siren Scales sail pattern. We've got the Wings of Wrath Crow's Nest. We've got the Sinister Serenade. Oh, wow. Look at the, the glow along the edge of the ship at night. And it's actually reactive and or emissive, they like to say. That looks really cool. And then we've got the whole color. Anything different at night. Oh, wow. You can see the gems glowing. Pretty cool. And I love looking at the dragon spine running down the side. Then we have actually got the ornaments. Then we've got the last ecstasy rear pattern. That just looks cool. We've got the emissive wheel tainted uh, tresses. We've got the friend's fin. You get a lot in this pack. We've got the Mars Trophy. 
We've got the crew skin. Nothing there. And then we've got the demise comes firework. Does they grow wings? Yes, they do indeed. That's pretty cool. Not going to lie. Moving over, we got the demise raw. Is this is this the... This is the ship. So basically what we've just seen. But uh, just, just to get the individuals. And that's the outfit and that's that. And then we have got Krabby Bonnet Amigos. We have got the crab. So we can see this one comes with sales colors. It comes with an emblem. Uh, the gentleman pirate. It comes with a sail pattern. It comes with a whole color. Doesn't glow. And then we've got the one, the only, Jack's Noggin. This looks so... Wait. Jack is in Captain Jack Sparrow. Is it his skull with a crab in it? Because it's got the bead on the hair. Wait, is that meant to be Captain Jack Sparrow with a crab that's stolen it? Poor Jack never had much between the ears anyway. <laughs> that's brilliant. I hope it is that. I love that. Moving down, we've got the featured, which got the wicked, rest, reactive, and emissive. If I go ahead and click on the toggle day and night, we can see that the part of the sail or the emblem is reactive, not really anything else. We have got the emblem, which is the departed. We've got the, the fettered sail pattern. We've got the nevermore figurehead. Any difference? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That is pretty darn cool. How that goes at night and in combat. No, it's at, it's just in combat. It's not a night. In combat, it has the, the wings effect up. That's pretty cool. Then we've got the whole color. And the bits glow around the outside. The emissives of that. Look at the coffin at the back right. You can have a coffin on your ship. Okay, that's a bit piratey. Well done. Bravo, Skull and Bones. You're making things look piratey. I'm enjoying it. I'm liking it. Let's move over to the next feature. We've got Lucky Clover. I believe it's a cat with a four-leaf clover sticking out of its head. Yeah, not one for me. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, we got the crab yet again. We can have Jack's Noggin just as the crab. But if you were to get it, you might as well spend that little bit more and get the other bits and bobs just to show your honor. All emotional. 900 gold. We get the red skull with fire coming out of it. Might have to get that being Death Wish. And then we got the Sea of Tears firework. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't mind it. The world. So we got here the sail color, untold sight sail color. So we are bound for new horizons. We got the fate leads emblem. All things must come to full circle. We got the adventurous spark sail pattern, and we got the chart in fate's whole color. Nothing happens to these at night. It just stays the same. Now we've got limited time items that will only be here. I don't know how long for, but we got the Krampus Lima. We have got the patches Lima. I think I've got these. No. And then we've got the Primrose Cat. Oh, these are items from the last season. Okay. And then moving over, we've got the Vicious Voice, which we can buy with silver, guys. 10,000 silver. We get that really funky dance. Wait. Oh, right. You have to select the silver. You could buy it with silver at the top. Or you can buy it, obviously, with gold. So you get that dance, the captain's emote. Which is a shimmy. You get the grave notes emblem. I think that looks pretty cool. Really cool when it's probably lit up. And then we got the rock on firework, which I do like. Can't lie. So that is it for the store. Moving over, we're going to go and check the currency packs and the battle pass we do in another video straight after this one. So, yet again, guys, you've got all your standard packs. Plus, you've got your seasonal pack, which is always the one I'm going to get. The reason is because it comes with cosmetics. So I'm just going to cover my screen in here, the seasonal pack. Oh, we've got new stuff with sovereigns, guys. We'll go over that in a moment. Where is the seasonal pack? You'd thought it had shown up. So we can see it's only got a ship hole color, maybe. Uh, Finest ship cosmetics by procuring a seasonal pack. Right, so... So we just got to look for it, right? Okay, so let's just look for it. Manage ship. Let's go to ship cosmetics. Let's just quickly flick through here and see if anything is glowing, which nothing is. Let's go down. We can see this. Maybe this come with it. Yeah, that's golden. So maybe that is what we got there, was was the end guard. Uh, every fight is poetry on the seas, which looks pretty cool. Not going to lie. Then we have got down here for the whole color. There's that whole color where you can basically make your ship completely gold, which looks pretty cool. And then we come down. That is literally, I believe. And then we've got the rock on. Everything. 
Uh, and then we wanted to go see the back of the outfit. So let's quickly go see the back of the outfit. This is just a store video, guys. I didn't want to change anything or show any more from the store. Reason being, so I didn't want to confuse people. These are going to be, obviously, the limited outfits that come out this season. So, like, the outfit that I've got. I don't know if they're limited, but the outfit I've got on was there last season. So, now these are going to be the season two outfits. You had the butchers and my outfit there. Um, but now you've got another two on showcase as well as a hat and that there. Let's quickly go in here and look at the... Um, the, the, the cool outfit or the weird looking outfit, let's say. And see what it looks like. So purchase and equip items. Let's go over to the sets. So equipment. Let's quickly go over to sets. So we can see these are... Oh, oh. Oh, we can see that set. I'll do that when I do a black market video, guys. Check out for the black market videos. They're all going to drop basically simultaneously. I'm going to do one after the other after the other. Where is this new outfit that dropped? I need an umbrella. This one. Right, so switch view. No, we want to turn him around. Okay, that looks pretty wild. I'm guessing some people are going to be able to make some pretty cool stuff out of that jacket. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Here's the other gold outfit from behind as well. So you can see it. You've got a little drum on your back. Um, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, follow, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.